guys welcome back to my channel and to another video i hope you are doing fantastic today we are going to talk about affordable alternatives to expensive niche perfumes so if you like sound of it please stay with me and if you are interested what is my selection and of course at the beginning of the of this video i would like to welcome you all and to ask you to subscribe to this channel like or dislike this video and leave a comment it means a lot to me to grow and of course yeah let's start and uh, I find it curious at the very beginning I will tell you that I find it very curious uh, that some people are very offended when we are talking about dupes as a perfume community you know because um, you know if you have this alternative to a certain fragrance with the number uh, some people get offended and they are telling you oh you are perfume enth enthusiast and you are recommending dupes I find it kind of funny because first of all dupes are uh, very good right now a uh, couple of years ago that wasn't the case but um, the main reason for that as well that I'm I'm wondering why it is is that I will show you the fragrances that are very very similar to each other however they have uh, a brand they have a name they are created by you know very well-known uh brands and then no one gets offended no one you know says anything so it's very curious to me why it does it work that way if you want to discuss in the comments i'm very interested to to basically know your opinion regarding this because for me it's kind of funny that some people get offended about the straight up dupe but they do not get offended when for example one niche brand copies another niche brand and their fragrances i don't know for example bacar rouge which is copied worldwide but everyone i think every brand even niche mainstream they have their old version of bakar rouge so yeah no one gets offended because i think you know the brand um justifies it all so let me know what is your opinion after that of course i want to discuss the fragrances because that's what why we are here for and the first fragrance i really like is from wilhelm parfumery and it's poets of berlin uh, and it was created by Jérôme Epinet um, and I have a cheaper alternative to Poets of Berlin created also by Jérôme Epinet so you, as you can see some of the perfumers are creating a uh, cheaper, uh, cheaper alternative uh, to the creation that they made for a niche very expensive brand and Poets of Berlin is very um, unique fragrance it has bamboo it has vanilla it has black currant so it's very unique combination it is like a fresh dewy juicy vanilla slightly sour interesting fragrance I really like it and the alternative to that fragrance is uh, from Floral Street and it's wild vanilla orchid and this fragrance is amazing as well and it's tad more sweeter maybe than Wilhelm Parfumerie's Poets of Berlin however for for me it's not that of a cha change you know in the fragrance I could easily use it and I'm thinking to get at least 10 ml travel size of this fragrance because it's beautiful especially for the summer even though it's like this vanilla fragrance this vanilla is very unique as I said it's fresh it's it's juicy it's completely different vanilla to your normal autumn or winter vanilla this is more summer appropriate vanilla so it's unique interesting and as i said 10 more sweeter than wilhelm parfumery's poets of berlin however if you could you know feel both of those fragrances on both people i do not think you will get much of a difference as we know uh, each fragrance even same fragrance wears differently on different people so it would be for me very hard to tell which one is wilhelm and which one is flora street so i think this uh, this combo is really nice and it's good that we have more affordable version of Poets of Berlin so that was the first choice of mine um, second fragrance is from um, Marc Antoine Barrois and it's famous already Ganymede it is a mineral scent it is very airy 
slightly salty. It is peppery as well. It has Akigala wood. Some people compare it to the smell of a new car or new sneakers or something like that. Very interesting. Very futuristic as well. I really like the fragrance. Uh, I've tested it on my skin. It, its longevity and projection are enormous. But I have a cheaper alternative, of course, and it's also created by the same perfumer who created Ganymede. Uh, it's Canton Biche and it's a Essential Parfum Bois Imperial. I absolutely love this fragrance, especially for the summer, because its lasting power and projection are nuclear, as the same as uh, in Ganymede, basically. This one is slightly more sweeter as well, more, uh, more condensed, but um, I think it is similar to Ganymede when you, if you know Ganymede and you smell Essential Parfums Bois Imperial, you will definitely feel the similarities. So, so beautiful. Unisex as well. For some females, it may lean masculine. For me, it's a perfect unisex. However, I can, you know, imagine that for some people, for some ladies, it might be too masculine. For me, it's perfect. Similar to Ganymede. So if you want to save your coins, just go for Bois Imperial. In general, Essential Parfums is a very affordable niche brand as well, but it's cheaper than many mainstream creations. So I would highly recommend to check Essential Perf Parfums creation in general. Uh, all right, another scent uh, is from Zoologist um, and it's uh, Nightingale. I have a decant here quite a lot actually and when I first tested Nightingale from Zoologist I couldn't shake off the uh, idea it uh, it came that came to my mind that is our that is similar to the fragrance I already know and it is none other than Mitsoko from Guerlain and what is funny both of those fragrances are inspired by Japan uh, Nightingale is inspired by uh, Japan's uh, spring in Japan basically it's uh, it's called Sakura of course and here in Mitsoko we also have this Japanese association so it smells incredibly similar at least on my skin uh, I would say Nightingale is uh, sweeter uh, it's more flowery, however, the core of the fragrance remains very similar to Mitsoko from Guerland. This one, Mitsoko, is more cheaper fragrance, more sharp, more harsh, more citrusy even, but still, I think those two creations, Zoologist, Nightingale and Mitsoko, are very, very similar. Yeah, it's more creamy, more flowery, however, the sound of the fragrance on my skin, how the fragrance behaves is very similar to Mitsoko from Guerlain and yeah, the inspiration um, of Japan is evident in those both fragrances. I mean, you know, you can feel that one that Mitsoko basically inspired Nightingale. Mm, all right, another fragrance is, uh, of course, Baccar Rouge 540. However, mm, I was trying to uh, pick the clone, um, the alternative that is um, more prominent to your nose because I do not, I cannot sense Baccar Rouge 540 on my skin after 15 minutes at all and you know I cannot do anything about it and I do not understand the phenomena of this fragrance some people say it has to be like that it's the magic of the fragrance you cannot feel it on yourself but other people uh, can feel it and they enjoy it yada yada but I do not get the concept of not feeling the fragrance on me and I do not feel that I would spend my money well on Baccarat Rouge because I just simply I couldn't... I, if I cannot feel the fragrance on me, what is the point? I wear the fragrance to feel it on me. So I have chosen here Orientica Amber Rouge because this clone I can actually feel on myself. And for me, it's like crossing between Baccarat Rouge 540 and Baccarat, 540, Baccarat, Baccarat Rouge 540 Extra. So if you're if you are looking for that combo, I think Orientica Amber Rouge can be for you. And what is the main reason I would choose Orientica Amber Rouge is that because I can feel it on me. And if for the whole day the projection is really decent, and I do not have any problem with sensing the fragrance. So if you are like me and you cannot feel Baccarat Rouge at all after around 15 minutes minutes from applications. 
uh, application, I think Orientica Ambrose will be good for you. And I think it's the only fragrance here that has the, the bears the resemblance with the name, you know, Amber Rouge, Baccar Rouge. Other than that, um, I think all the names are completely different. All the following fragrances are completely different. Another fragrance which is very popular as well in fragrance community is Delina, of course, from Parfums de Marly. And I have two alternatives. One will be from um, the brand called Zara and another will be mainstream. So we'll start with Zara, which is uh, much more affordable. It's the most affordable from uh, those uh, all, all of those propositions regarding the Lina and it's Zara Fashionably London. Of course, it's not the same fragrance. However, if you know the Lina, you can feel that um, Fashionably London bears some resemblance because it's basically this sour rose, this crisp sour rose. I think it's really nice fragrance. It's slightly musky as well, as well as the, the Lina is. Uh, so I think it's a for affordable alternative to the Lina from Parfums de Marly. And another uh, suggestion is from mainstream brand. It's Carolina Herrera and it's very good girl. It's like the red um, high heel shoe. Uh, and this one is quite similar to the Lina as well. It is this bright, crisp, juicy rose. So either or you can uh, choose Carolina Herrera or Zara. I think they're similar to each other. Another scent is uh, Killian Angel's Share. And the alternative to Killian's Angel's Share will be another scent from Zara. It's Scent Desert at Sunset. This one is more silky and more smooth version of Killian Angel's Share. But in, but in general, if you know Angel's Share and if you smell scent uh, desert at sunset, you will see the resemblance immediately. And Benoit Lapuza is a creator of scent desert at sunset and he is also creator of uh, Killian Angel's shirt. So you can see that he, uh, you know, uh, snatch the DNA here to this fragrance. I think it's a very good alternative to Angel's Share. And for me, to be honest, it's better than Angel's Share because Angel's Share on me is too screechy and it has this expired perfume vibe on my skin. I do not know why do I feel it that way, but on me it smelled like Killian Angel's Share basically smelled like expired perfume, which uh, eff effect I didn't like at all. This one is more smooth, more elegant, more rounded. It's not as loud as Killian Angel's Share, but it has decent longevity and it's really nice. Well blended, I would say. So this alternative, if you have a possibility to get it in your country, get it because it's really, really nice. If you like uh, Killian Angel's share. Uh, another scent is very popular in niche community as well. Is the classic already Lela Bo Santal 33. I think everyone is talking about the fragrance. However, I'm one of those people who do not understand the phenomena of this fragrance again, uh, simply because I can, the sandalwood that is in Santal 33 smells for me like uh, um, cucumber and I hate this cucumber effect on my skin. I'm sorry everyone who likes cucumber scents, aquatic scents, sorry I do not like the vibe and Santal 33 for me is like a cucumber scent and I cannot shake off this feeling so it's not for me. However, if you like Santal 33, so again another alternative from Zara, uh, it is created uh, by Joe Malone. Uh, so it's uh, energetically New York. Yes, that's what I want to say. It's energetically New York and it contains also sandalwood. I once had like 10 ml rollerball of this fragrance and it smelled on me straight up cucumbers. So I didn't like it at all. It was like creamy cucumber, you know. But if you like Le Labo Santal 33, you are on a budget. You may want to check out uh, Zara energetically New York. Of course, it's not um, as complex as Santal 33. It's not as sophisticated. It doesn't have this leathery, iricy note for my nose at least, but I think the inspiration is decent and you may want to check it out. And it's of course affordable. Another scent from Le Labo is another 13 and I have a small decant of this fragrance here on me. Uh, this one is um, interesting. It smells like the very handsome man pheromones or so something like that, like a very handsome man in a white clean t-shirt. I do not know why I have this 
you know, this connotation, but yeah, it pops in my mind. A very good smelling man. However, for me, it's a perfectly unisex fragrance. Uh, it's very clean. Uh, it's unique, slightly woody. And if you are looking for a cheaper alternative to this fragrance, I would recommend again Floral Street and it's Arizona Bloom. Arizona Bloom is slightly more salty. It's more coconutty. However, it still has very similar DNA to uh, Another 13 from Le Labo. So if you love Le Labo, Another 13 and you are on a budget, I think Floral Street Arizona Bloom uh, will be also a perfect alternative to this fragrance. Mm, another fragrance is from Guerlain, from their boutique collection and it's Guerlain Spiritus Double Vanille. Uh, and if you are on a budget, I would recommend you try Yves Rocher Cure de Nuit. I once had a bottle in my collection, however, I got rid of it. I couldn't stand, you know, it had this um, soapy, chocolatey effect on my skin and I couldn't um, actually be okay with the effect this fragrance made on my skin, so I didn't like it and I got rid of it. However, if you like Spiritus de Bivani, uh, I think in Yves Rocher Cure de Nuit you can find some resemblance. It's also chocolatey, uh, it's vanillic, it is more watered down version of Spiritus de Bivani. It doesn't have this um, good quality vanilla. However, it is still uh, fairly similar. So if you, if you are interested, for example, if the Spiritus de Bivani will be for you, I think you can, you may want to check out uh, Cure de Nuit from Yves Rocher and uh, see for yourself. So that was it. Um, another two fragrances are fragrances I actually have in my collection. And first one is from Carner Barcelona and it's Tardes. As you know, I absolutely love this fragrance. For me, it's a clean, powdery, almondy scent. I absolutely love it. So beautiful, calming, relaxing and elegant at the same time. And another scent which is slightly similar um, to Tardes, especially in the dry down, is Yuple Bon. And Yuple Bon also gives you this clean feel to it, you know, but this one is more dense. And for me, it has much more tonka, especially in the base but it has this clean effect on your skin, Sa same as Tardes have. This one would be more screechy to some people and it's more vintagey in the opening. This scent also has aldehydes, but they are not as prominent and old fashioned like in Chanel number no. five, for example, so do not be afraid of that. However, as I said, this one is more dense, more screechy than Tardis. However, still, if you are on a budget, I would recommend you try Yuple Bon because it's fairly similar to Tardis. If you would ask me which uh, of those fragrance, those two fragrances I would choose, I would go for Tardis because for me it's more balanced, more refined, more elegant. However, of course, there's nothing wrong with Yuple Bon. Uh, as I said, if you are on the budget, you can choose Yuple Bon and it will be fine. The vibe is very, very similar in both of those fragrances. So yes, just test and uh, see for yourself. Um, another fragrance is uh, from Lorenzo Villoresi and it's Tom de Neige. This one is very powdery fragrance. So if you like your powdery scents, I think this one will be perfect. It's the powder of powders. It's powder on powder, basically. Very strong. Projection is amazing and only two sprays give you like the whole day longevity. So it's really, really good in that respect. So nice, relaxing and calming as well. But as I said, you need to like your powdery perfume. Uh, so that's, that's the main objective here. But if you want to know how Tendonish smells and if this fragrances even for you. You can go for uh, Pino Silvestre Sofio di Talco. Uh, I had this fragrance last year in my collection, but then I bought uh, Lorenzo Villoresi Tom de Neige and I didn't need it anymore, so I sold the fragrance. However, Sofio di Talco is very cheap alternative to Tom de Neige. It smells very, very similar. It smells almost identical to Tom de Neige. Of course, it doesn't have this quality, it doesn't have its longevity, but in general, if you want to know how Tom de Neige smells, go for Sofio di Talco and, you know, see for yourself if you like it, if you want to invest in Lorenzo di Villoresi Tom de Neige, because it's like the more condensed version of that fragrance. Of course, this one is more, it, it has more longevity, so this one is more, uh, it's, it's better in terms of quality, but 
Yeah, Sofio di Talco from um, Pino Silvestre will be alternative for it. Another fragrance is from Tom Ford. I do not have, I do not have the bottle, but I do not know the scent. It's uh, Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. And as you know, Tom Ford is a very expensive brand. I cannot justify basically the prices for, of Tom Ford. I do not know how it is in your case. But for me, those perfumes are too expensive for what they are. Bottles are stunning, bottles are nice, but I do not um, feel that it all needs to cost that much. So if you like Neroli Portofino, I would recommend you try uh, Jean en Provence and it's Neroli Intense. This scent is very similar to Neroli Portofino and in terms of longevity, it's very similar as well. It costs fraction of the price, so what else can you ask for? Uh, another, um, another scent is from M. Mikalev. And it is uh, famous already, Ilangin Gold. And this one, as you know, um, smells very sophisticated. It is like this tropical, golden, sophisticated aroma. It has coconut, it has vanilla, it has Ilang Ilang, which, which pulls slightly like banana aroma here in this perfume. Very elegant, refined and classy. And if you were looking for uh, a fragrance in a similar vein, I think Kashmir from Chopar will be a perfect choice. And actually, Kashmir from Chopar was the first fragrance. Uh, it, of course, it came before M. Mikalev uh, Ilangin Gold. So I think Ilangin Gold is like the refined, is, is, it was inspired by Kashmir, by Chopar. That's what I wanted to say. I, ha I have this impression that it was inspired. This one is more sophisticated version, of course, but um, you can feel definitely DNA of Chopar Cashmere in Ilangin Gold. So Cashmere from Chopard is more screechy, more synthetic, I would say, more sweet, more dense, but you can still feel the association with uh, Ilangin Gold. Of course, as I said, Ilangin Gold will be more refined, uh, more well blended as, um, as well. However, as I said, if you are on a budget and you do not have money for a Mikalev Ilangin Gold, I think Cashmere from Chopar will be good option for you. And the last um, two cents. Uh, first one will be a uh, Rosen de Matteo number no. five. I absolutely love the fragrance, as you may know, and I have found the perfect alternative to the fragrance is from Latafa Pride and it's Ishk Al, Al Shuyuk Gold. So as you may know, I absolutely love this alternative. Of course, it's nowhere, nowhere is said that it is a straight up dupe. For me, it's 98% like Rosendo Matteo. Rosendo Matteo has uh, more the, of this rubbery effects, uh, whereas this one has more tonka in it. It's more sweet. Uh, it um, more uh, reminds me of the base of Rosendo Matteo number no. five. However, it also has this slight rubbery effect, which I absolutely love. 98% similar. This one doesn't compromise any quality. It lasts really long time. It has perfect longevity. It is oily. It is dense. I really like it. So yeah, uh, Ishk Al, Al Shuyu Gold from Latafa Pride. And the last two fragrances. First expensive one, of course, Parfums de Marley Harrod. So as you know, it's like it's tobacco um, the fragrance with lots of tonka. I really like the fragrance. And there is um, an awesome alternative from Essential Parfums again, and it's Divine Vanille. So if you are on a budget, you do not have the money for Herod, I think the uh, Divine Vanille will ju do just fine. It's absolutely amazing for me. Very, very similar to Herod from Far Farms de Marley for a fraction of a price, but it also doesn't compromise any quality in the scent. It is amazing. It blooms perfectly and beautifully on your skin. So uh, Divine Vanille from Essential Parfums, I think is a perfect alternative to Herod from Parfums de Marley. So I could go on and on because actually uh, it is only a fraction of, you know, affordable fragrances that we can buy. Uh, as an alternative to um, expensive niche perfume, let me know uh, which are what are your recommendation. Um, if you like uh, those alternatives, if you have any of that, um, I will be happy to see your comments. Thank you very much for watching today, and see you in my next video. Bye bye. <music>